We've been in business for about five years. You know, technology has always separated us from our competitors. We started with the hollow metal core. The idea was to move the weight to the perimeter of the ball to cut down on side spin. And we accomplished that. So having a ball that gave you a little bit more confidence and a little bit of a straighter shot um, was certainly a big improvement for the vast majority of golfers. Golfers love to talk about their game and fortunately for us being in Buffalo, there's a diehard golfing community here and Buffalonians travel everywhere throughout the country so word started to spread organically that way early on. And we get um, you know, tons of reviews every day. Um, fortunately, most of them are positive. So we're, we're always listening to what, what, you know, what do our customers want? What can we do differently? How can we do it better for, to make the experience um, that much more positive? We're always trying to be inspired by different creative pursuits and creative entrepreneurs out there. Owning your uniqueness and embracing what makes you different is a beautiful thing and that's exactly why Encore has been successful. We try and avoid the sand traps and pitfalls of normalcy. We always tell people that originality can't be replicated. You know, we were trying to enter this impenetrable industry by disrupting it with innovation, technology, and the fact of the matter is we were rejected twice by the USGA for uh, essentially not having a ball that looked uh, and sounded like traditional golf balls. So I mean, there are all sorts of things that can go wrong that are gonna put a wrench in your plans for a little bit. But uh, it was a two year struggle, but after that two years it paid off. I actually became the second company in 100 years to uh, get the uh, USGA to rewrite the rules of golf and allow a new technology in. So that for me I think was the main motivating factor for um, taking on such a challenge, doing something that others would say is impossible, but we looked at as necessary. Confidence is extremely important when uh, you're an entrepreneur. If you're not instilled with confidence right from the get-go, go do things that bring that out of you. I would suggest, you know, go out and do things that are outside your comfort zone. Sometimes you just got to jump and you got to get used to doing that as an entrepreneur. To see your dreams become a reality is, is pretty amazing. Seeing our customers hit hole-in-ones and have these life-changing experiences is what it's all about for me. And, and when we see people playing with the golf balls and shooting better scores and having a better time, um, you know, we know we've really hit on something big.